I still remember the first time I read those words in that email. Like, I'd applied to like some summer internship and I remember at first I was like, oh, if I get it, it's fine. If I don't get it, it's fine. Like trying to like downplay it and rejection is actually such a funny thing. And it does different things to different people, you know, like anything. But at the end of the day, like, I don't think anybody likes rejection. <laughs> Welcome to Matels and me, Matels being the study of stuff and me being eerie. I'm alive. <laughs> I'm alive and well. Glory be to God. And so, like, whether or not it's you know results day or you know receiving um a response from a job application like no matter how much we try to downplay how we feel about that particular thing like um i think even just the possibility of rejection is something that like just makes a lot of us sweat like it's just something that doesn't sit well with us like it's it's hard to stomach basically If you guys watched my placements and internships video, um, it's the second to last one, I think. Yeah, I haven't made that many. You'll see it. Anyways, but yeah, my place. I was talking about my placements and internships and how, you know, I was looking for one. And that's basically what I spent most of second year doing, um, looking for a year in industry placements. And... Um, I saw a lot of, you know, we regret to inform you. Um, I still got obviously like, oh, what happened to inform you that, you know, we're inviting you to an interview or like an assessment center. So like it wasn't all negative. Um, but whether or not you get the thing you've applied for um, or not, like rejection isn't the end. Like it's it's still going to be the beginning of something else and i know that sounds obvious but like when we first experience it or in the early stages of experiencing it at least we can feel a bit you know like um you know like why, why not me basically um especially when you like put a lot of effort into something and you feel like i guess obviously there's always you can always improve and you can always do better but when you feel like you did put your best foot forward and like you don't know what else you could have given basically and then someone says yeah it's done or enough it can feel a bit you know painful but um it doesn't mean like just because you didn't get it it actually doesn't mean you get it next time that's actually the truth like, I'm not here to say that. <laughs> like, it, this is a different type of encouragement. I'm basically just trying to say that if you didn't get this one, it's cool. Maybe you get the next one. Maybe you won't. But regardless, you'll actually be okay. That's what I'm trying to say. So, just finally started working. Happy. I am. I'm gonna be using traps. Okay, so take my results day for example. Um, like you can just see me smiling <laughs> that I go into uni. But I actually didn't get into my firm. So my first choice. I didn't actually get into my first choice uni. I got into my insurance and um I don't know, like I'm fine. <laughs> like I was okay. Um I feel like low key though then I knew that that was the best thing for me. Um so it's not that oh I didn't want um my firm or anything but at the end of the day like 
God knows, I know, I know the plans that God has for me, and He also knows the plans He has for me. So, I I can actually, and I can actually safely say that that rejection was a blessing. Um, because like, I, I'm not even done in Sheffield, but just the time I've had so far like and the people i've met now nah. yeah no it's not a coincidence um this was ordained in heaven by my heavenly father so um yeah okay so it was a normal summer's day in july Let's pretend I'm not wearing a puffer jacket and it's snowed. When I was running some errands and I received a phone call. Hello? Yes? Is this e -Ray? Yeah. I'm calling about the interview you had last week. Okay. They liked you, but... Oh, really? Yeah. But, um, you've got the job. Oh my gosh, for real. Oh my gosh, really? No. No, thank you so much. No. I'm literally in Sainsbury's right now doing my groceries. <laughs> thank you. But anyways, yes, yeah, so, yeah, I'd be lying if I said I never doubted. It would actually happen um because i did and so much so that i actually booked my driving test in sheffield but you know Ava said kiddo we're doing this and here i am three months in commuting to oxfordshire three times a week at an aerospace company as a materials engineering intern and all I can actually say is thank you, Jesus. Like, that's really all I can say. And so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and or it's encouraged you. And without further ado, if you made it to this point in the video, good on you, good on me. Let's keep doing this. Gosh, oh my gosh, I can't believe I forgot. Those of you who prayed for me, Cause I remember my placements and internships video, I was like, oh, um, you know, like I'm not even playing. I want this thing. Like I accept prayers. You want to fast for me fast. And I don't know. Thank you. Um, obviously my mom. This is actually going to be a thank you ceremony. There was like there was a period of time where like every day we'd like call each other just to pray for me to get like a placement like it was not a joke i guess apart from me trying to tell you that oh rejection is not the end i'm also trying to tell you prayer walks that's actually what um, i should actually add to this video prayer actually works um and so yeah thank you mommy my dad prayed with me out as well my friends thanks friends you know you just you kept encouraging me um some of my friends actually pray for me as well so but yeah no anybody and everybody who pray for me thank you okay so like what now the world